Hello students, in this video we are going to learn how to find the successor and predecessor of different kinds of number. The numbers included are natural numbers, rational numbers and integers. We will be solving the example of each category to clarify the topic. So let's start with finding the successor of a number. For finding the successor, we just need to add 1 to the number, whether it is a negative number, a positive number, a rational number or a whole number. On the other hand, a predecessor is a number which we get by subtracting 1 from the number, whether the number is integer, rational number or 0. So let us solve few examples which will clarify it further. So first we will find the successor, successor of number 9, successor of number 9 will be 9 plus 1 which is equal to 10. Let's take another number, let's take an integer here, so an integer is negative 5. For finding the successor we are going to add 1 to negative 5, so negative 5 plus 1 will give us negative 4. So the successor of negative 5 is negative 4. Next is, let's take a rational number, that's 4 by 5. So the successor of this rational number will be 4 upon 5 plus 1, which is equal to 4 upon 5 plus 5 upon 5, which is equal to 9 upon 5. So the successor of 4 upon 5 is 9 upon 5. Next we have, let's take negative 22 up over 2. So for finding the successor of this fraction, we are just going to simplify it because we have a common factor of 2. So that's going to be 2 times 11 is 22. So that's negative 11. And now we are going to add 1 to negative 11 to find the successor. So negative 11 plus 1 will be negative 10. And our last example for finding the successor is 0. And the successor of 0 will be 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1. Let's take our last number as number 1000. So the successor of 1000 will be 1000 plus 1 which is equal to 1001. So now let's move on to finding the predecessor of different numbers. Our first number is negative 43. For finding the predecessor, we need to subtract 1 from negative 43. So in integer addition, when the signs are same, we need to add the two numbers. So that's going to be 44 and the sign will be same. So that's negative 44. So predecessor of negative 43 is negative 44. Next, we can take the rational number 3 by 2. For finding the predecessor, we are going to subtract 1 from 3 by 2. That's going to be 3 by 2 minus 2 by 2 which is equal to 1 by 2. So the predecessor of 3 by 2 is 1 by 2. Next we have a whole number 0 and we need to find the predecessor of this number. So 0 minus 1 and 0 minus 1 will give us negative 1. So the predecessor of 0 is negative 1. Next number is 478 and for finding the predecessor we are going to subtract 1 from 478 and our predecessor is 477. Next number is 10,000. Now for finding the predecessor we are going to subtract 1. So 10,000 minus 1 will give us 9,999. So this is how we can find the successor and predecessor of different numbers. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to Renu Math for more math videos. Thanks for watching.